الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله as was narrated in Sunan Ibn Majah in a Sahih Hadith قال حدثنا محمد بن عبد الله بن نمير قال حدثنا زكريا بن عادي عدي عن ابن مبارك عن محمد بن سقة عن أبي جعفر قال كان ابن عمر إذا سمع من رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث لم يعده ولم يقصر دونه Abu Jafar radiallahu ta'ala anhu said whenever Umar uh, whenever Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu heard a hadith from the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he would not do more than it said and he would not do less so that shows us the meticulousness of Ibn Umar and that is a beautiful example for us to, in trying to practice that's a ka'idah that's a ka'idah min kawa'id al-deen that is a principle from the principles of the religion to not be excessive, not to be extreme. And strive to do as you are ordered by Kitabi La wa Sunnatu Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There you'll have safety. It's not about just obe obedience to your imam, obedience to your shaykh, because they can Yusibu Yukti, they can make mistakes and they can be correct sometimes. But learning about the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as much as you can. And the seerah of the Messenger of Allah والسلام, to make you well rounded with the understanding of the Salaf al Salih from Ahl al Ilm. This will help you to stay on the Sabil al Mu'mineen, a straight path. And it comes through obedience to the Messenger of Allah, وسلم, regardless of what those people say who say it's modern times, we don't need the Sunnah. It's modern times, we just adhere to the Quran that's it that is the most jahil of statements because the Quran orders you to follow the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ati Allah wa ati Rasul obey Allah and obey his messenger so how can you avoid the sunnah how can you know what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded you to do except through the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and in another hadith which is was graded Hassan this is also in Sunan Ibn Majah. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to us when we were speaking of poverty and how we feared it. He said, is it poverty that you fear by the one in whose hand is my soul? The delights and luxuries of this world will come to you in plenty and nothing will cause the heart of any one of you to deviate except that by Allah. Except that. By Allah, I am leaving you upon something like Bayda, meaning that it's something clear and white. The night and the day of which are the same. And in another narration, he said, Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that shows us the guidance is through the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his Sunnah. It shows us that the luxury of this world and this life will be a distraction, will cause confusion, will be a fitna for many of us. And we see it today. It has been throughout man history, mankind's history. But we can reflect because it's right in front of us, it's all around us. We see how nations of Muslims strive to have the highest buildings strive to have the you know prestige for them is is having a high building when they don't produce anything else they they just want their riches for this instead of riches to help the ummah and save the ummah but they just want the prestige of the dunya and likewise us as common people who our house our, our, our hearts are so clouded by accumulating more wealth by being distracted the man who has one wife wants two or three or four the sister 
who has what's sufficient in her house wants more. She wants another house. She wants a vacation home and she wants more. She wants more gold to weigh her, her body down. But she's going to die and someone will inherit that. She's going to have to pay zakat on that. So it lets us know the life of this world distracts us. And it does harden the heart. So even the meaning of this hadith is clearly sound in accordance with so many other hadith and in accordance with experience and life reality. And may Allah protect us from that and bless us with ilm al nafi ruskin taybu amil al and bless us to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.